the Texas night before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas in a cold wintry fog, nary a critter was moving, nor a lorn, lone prairie dog. Then from out of the north, the breeze gave a stir, an icy cold blast swirled the fog in a blur. A blue Texas northern roared over the plains, the cold fairly whistled through the loose winter panes. I poked at the far place to stir up a flame. The embers glowed redder, but the cold stayed the same. Ma fixed up our dinner to be ready next day and thought about Christmas a few hours away. Our scuffed boots were assembled on the floor pair by pair where Santy would find them, for he soon would be there. The young'uns were bundled down snug in their covers, a sprout of a girl and her two older brothers. So me and my long johns and ma and her gown warmed up by the fire for we laid ourselves down. Then from out on the range there came such a ruckus, I ran to the window to see what the fuss was. Through the blue winter blizzard a scene came to sight, I squinted to see, for there weren't much light. There a stompin' and a snortin' and pawin' the ground were eight scroungy longhorns stampedin' around. In front of a wagon piled full as could be with boxes and bundles as high as a tree. Then a bellerin' yell soon set them all straight from a fat little old ramrod who put fear in the eight. Well, they weren't really scared. No harm would he cause, for their longhorn head honcho was old Santa Claus. He got their attention. He called them by name. Hey, Leadfoot and Walleye, get up there, Culhane. Come on, Gimp and Flop Ear and Scarface, start dragging. Get on, Sam and High Hops, let's move this hair wagon. Old Leadfoot, he bellered and lifted his head, then straight on they trampled through Ma's flower bed. They laid the gate flat and the clothesline went too. Nothing stood in the way as they flat-footed through. Santy pulled them up short on top of the roof after wrecking the porch with them clodhopper hoofs. They rocked our sod shanty, the dirt sifted down, and then, through the chimney, Santy came with a bound. He was dressed all in rawhide with a Stetson on top. His big Texas boots hit the floor with a clop. He shook his great belly and stomped each foot, which knocked off a shower of mud, ash, and soot. His eyes were both squinty and his skin was like leather from too much exposure to the raw Texas weather. He looked tough as a horseshoe, but I felt no alarm because a wink of his eye showed he'd do us no harm. A feed bag of toys he flung from his back. With nary a word, he opened his sack. He filled all the boots and piled them up high, then looked out the window and up at the sky. The cold Texas northern still whistled and blew, but more young'uns was waiting. His work wasn't through. It was hard just to leave and walk through the door to face all them longhorns and the cold as before. He drank some hot mud and hunched close to the heat to soak up the warmth and thaw his cold feet. He could no longer dally or put off the chore, so he gave us a wink and pushed through the door. He prodded the longhorns to get on the go, and the wagon took off through the fog and the snow. And he called over the norther for he went out of sight. Merry Christmas, you hear? Y'all have a good night. I like that. <laughs>